Three ways to produce more Instagram content more quickly. Instagram is a fantastic option for marketers in a hurry. It doesn't take very long to post a photo or an image, but potentially that single post can do extremely big numbers for you. But while this is true, it's also true that a lot of people find themselves running out of time to take photos. Unfortunately, photography does require a little bit of prep, as you need to find a good spot, set up the subject, and make sure your camera is charged, etc. If you have been struggling to remain consistent with your Instagram marketing, then read on and discover how you can solve the problem. Batch If you're taking one photo, then why not take 10? In other words, take batches of photos and you'll spend less time in total because all the setup will be done. If you're in the fitness niche, for instance, and you're taking photos of yourself training, take a bunch of extra for future content. Likewise, if you're taking photos of views while traveling, make sure to get far more than you need to use right away. Opportunity On a similar note, you should also make sure that you seize every opportunity possible to get useful images. In particular, this might mean taking photos of things that are likely to lend themselves to future posts and topics. Did you need to withdraw a whole load of cash to pay the plumber? Then great! Use that opportunity to take some photos of the cash on the table, as this is something that can work in a whole lot of contexts. And while you're at that scenic location, this would be a good opportunity to get photos of not only the view, but of you doing yoga in front of the view, of your product in front of the view, of you climbing that mountain and looking successful. Think of every angle and version of the shot that you might need in the future. Stock Not every photo you post needs to come from you originally. Sign up to a stock photography site, and that way, you can gain access to a limited reserve of images that you can use to grow your account. Edit these images and add text, and you can get even more use from them. Another option is to repost old images. Throwback Thursday is one of the most useful trends on the platform. 5 Tips for Better Hashtags There are many factors that will play a role in the success of your Instagram effort, but few make such an instant and profound impact as the hashtags you use. By now you know what a hashtag is. It is a keyword or phrase prefixed by the hash symbol and used at the end of posts. Hashtags first rose to prominence on Twitter, but have since become a staple of nearly every form of social media. The idea behind a hashtag is to make content searchable. By using the right hashtags, people can look for content like yours, and Instagram can recommend your posts to the right people on the Discover page. Without hashtags, your content will be impossible to find. With them, it can potentially reach millions. But how can you use hashtags effectively? Here are five simple tips that will make a massive difference. 1. Use lots Tip number one is to use lots of hashtags. You're able to use up to 30 on any given post, and you should aim to use this many or nearly this many every time. By doing this, you'll be able to maximize your opportunities to reach new users. 2. Find the sweet spot Don't make the mistake of using the most popular hashtag you possibly can. This will result in a post that quickly gets drowned among hundreds of others. Instead, pick one with around 30 to 300,000 posts for the maximum impact. 3. Use a variety that said, there is some merit to using tags that are much more or far less popular, and there is no drawback to throwing a couple of these in with each post too. 4. Geotag This isn't a hashtag, but by turning geotagging on, people will be able to search your photos by location. That can bring in a lot more viewers from people who are in the same place as you, especially if you're at a big event. You can likewise use hashtags that include place names. 5. Newsjack Newsjacking is a strategy that involves using hashtags that are currently in the news or that are at least trending. Use Google Trends to discover these. Of course, these will be getting a higher volume of searches, and that means you can hopefully make a big impact very quickly as a result. Do these five things, and you'll find your pictures get seen by more people and more of the right people. 5 Tips to Grow Your Instagram Audience Faster Has your Instagram account hit a plateau? Have you stopped seeing new subscribers appear on your page? Perhaps your numbers are even going down. 
or maybe you never had any luck in the first place. Don't feel bad. This is extremely common and something that countless creators and marketers have to struggle with. And the good news is, is that you can grow your account with just a few simple changes. In this report, we'll explore what those are. 1. Post regularly. The optimum amount of posts to make in a day is 1 to 3. This has been demonstrated across many accounts, as it ensures that enough people actually get to see and engage with your content. 2. Be consistent. Posting regularly like this is one way that you can be consistent. Another is to post content that is always on brand and that matches the tone of your previous images. In fact, many businesses recommend using the same filter on every single image. This is important as it allows you to create a consistent theme on your page and it ensures that the overall impact of your account is greater. 3. Use hashtags. You get 30 opportunities to use hashtags for each photo, so use them all. If you had 30 opportunities to play the lottery for free, would you enter just once and leave it at that? A good hashtag is one that's popular, but not saturated. Aim for those that have around 30 to 300,000 posts. But with that said, there's value to trying to get a range of different hashtags in terms of popularity too. Get a few huge ones and a few smaller ones in there for good measure. 4. Use video, live, and stories. Instagram isn't just about posting photos. Video actually has a greater engagement than photography on the platform, and it can also help you to convey a more complex message more efficiently. Likewise, don't ignore Instagram Live or Stories. Stories let you engage with your audience in a different way, while Stories are far more two-way and ideal for building trust, loyalty, and authority. 5. Be social. Remember, Instagram is a social media account. That means it's not just about posting things and moving on. You should actually be interacting with your audience and engaging with them. So respond to comments and messages, leave comments on other photos, and follow people that are in your niche. How to create a consistent Instagram account to grow your audience massively. What's the key to a highly successful Instagram account? Hint. It's not owning the best camera in the world, nor is it being a big celebrity. Although neither of those things will hurt, of course. Rather, the key to a hugely successful Instagram is consistency. That means posting every single day, and ideally up to three times a day. This has been shown by market research across thousands of channels to be the most effective amount to post. So you better get a plan going of how you're going to offer that much consistent content. But it's not just posting consistently in terms of timing that matters. It's also posting consistently in terms of subject matter, style, and tone. One of the biggest mistakes you can make as a creator is to not settle on a single niche or to include too many photos of your dog or kids. Occasionally, showing people a behind the scenes so they can know the creator behind the brand is no bad thing. But that is what Instagram stories are for. Do this consistently on your main feed and you'll find your audience quickly becomes bored and disinterested. Likewise, you need to think about consistency in terms of the look and feel of your content. Did you know that most of the biggest business accounts will only use a single filter on their photos? Take a look at the Instagram accounts of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and you'll find that many of his photos during a certain period in the gym use the same filters. What this does is make the Instagram page itself look much more appealing at a glance so that you will be more inclined to want to follow it. Most people won't see a single photo and decide to follow an account. They will follow that photo to its feed, and this is what will then help them decide that they want to become a follower. Not only does having a consistent look that makes the page look coherent, look more professional and impressive, it also gives the account a more singular style and vision, in which tells the viewer whether this is a page that they would be interested in following. If every photo is different, how can they know if they're going to like the next one? How to create a strong brand for your Instagram account. Instagram marketing does not occur in a vacuum. That is to say that your success on Instagram is at least partly dependent on your success elsewhere and the way that you integrate your strategy with other forms of social media marketing and content marketing. And the one crucial thing that will tie it all together, that would be your branding. 
A strong brand is absolutely critical when it comes to helping people quickly identify what your account is about and whether or not it might be ideal for them. So how do you go about making a great brand for Instagram? Stay tuned and I'll explain everything. First, just what is a brand? A brand is more than a logo. The logo should in fact be an expression of your brand, by which I mean it should reflect what your brand is all about and help others to quickly understand that. From that point onward, your brand should also help others to then identify your content and to know that they're dealing with the same business that they have been. So the place to start is with a mission statement. This is a statement of intent. It explains what the idea behind your business is, why you created it to begin with, and how you hope to make people's lives better through it. Likewise, think about who your brand is for. Who is your buyer persona? Get specific. If your niche is travel, then think about the kind of travel you're focused on. Is your audience interested in backpacking and experiencing countries in an authentic manner? Are they interested in beautiful scenery? Or are you selling luxurious experiences and getaways? These three focuses create entirely different brands aimed at different people. So once you've identified these factors, the logo can be born out of that. Your job is to express that through your logo and your company name so that someone who has no prior experience of your business can look at it and know right away whether you might have something to offer them. Likewise, make sure that all the images you post and all the text you write is in service of that same mission statement and focus, such that all your content and marketing material is pushing the same values and speaking to the same core audience. This is how you will go about creating a strong brand for your Instagram account and ultimately your entire digital marketing strategy. How to Sell the Dream – Understanding Value Proposition in Instagram Marketing Do you understand what makes Instagram tick? No? Let me ask that again. Do you really understand what makes Instagram tick? Have you cracked the code, as it were? Have you worked out what the absolutely massive accounts all have in common? If not, listen on and we'll explain. Instagram is a place where you can post images in order to build a following. We can agree on that much. But what is the purpose of those images? From a business standpoint, Instagram is less about reaching as many people as possible, though it is about that too, and is more about trying to make a big impression on those people. It's about building loyalty and influence. And the way you do that is by selling your value proposition. Or to put it another way, you do it by selling the dream. Because behind every business product or service is some kind of dream, some kind of promise that the company is making to the audience. When you sell someone a fitness book, you aren't giving them pages and print. You're giving them a key to unlock the perfect body. You're giving them the means to feel sexy, attractive, energetic, and appealing. You're saying if you buy this book, you will feel happy, confident, and healthy. Except you can't just say that because that's something that pretty much every company says and very few can substantiate. Instead, then, you want to imply it. And the best way to do that is with images. Images and a fair helping of social proof. That's where Instagram marketing comes in as the ideal tool. Of course, Instagram is an image-based platform where posting pictures is the main way you contribute. That and making comments and sharing likes. Therefore, it's all about looking good and then congratulating others on looking good. And so if you're selling that fitness book or if you're selling sports clothes, you can share images of people looking happy, sexy, confident, and healthy while using your product. Then, when other big influencers do the same thing, it all sends one very powerful message, and it creates an emotional response in the viewer that makes them want to follow, so that they can feel that this lifestyle is already a part of their identity, and that ideally also makes them want to buy. How to set up your Instagram business account in 5 easy steps Instagram is one of the most popular platforms for marketers because of just how easy it makes it for creators to reach a large audience. Instagram has a low ROI in that it doesn't take very long to create a post. Just point a camera and shoot. But you can potentially gain a lot from a single successful image. And the good news is, is that this low barrier to entry begins the moment you get started. That is to say that it takes no time at all to get started with an account as a business. In fact, you can get started in just five steps. Step 1. Download the app. 
For all Instagram has going for it, it does lack a good website or PC app. The best way to get started is still on mobile, so you'll want to download it on Android or iOS. Another slight limitation is that the iPad app is sorely dated. Step 2. Choose a name. You'll need to choose a name for your account, as well as a name that will appear on your profile. Try to choose a display name that reflects what you do. Ideally, this will be the same brand you're using elsewhere. Alternatively, if you're creating a personal brand, then you should choose that name. Step 3. Create a bio and choose a profile picture. You'll need to choose a bio and profile picture next. Make sure that the profile image is representative of the kinds of content you'll be posting. For many people, this is the first contact they'll get with your brand. Your bio should quickly describe what your account is all about and link back to your site or store. Step 4. Make it a business account. You can choose to make your account a business account when you first sign up, or you can switch to a business account later on. Either way, you'll gain access to more analytics and information, and will be able to access other more useful features. Step 5. Become verified. If you are a known name or have a known brand, then becoming verified means you'll be singled out as the official account with a badge. This can help you build trust and authority with your audience, but it also gives you access once again to additional features and benefits, such as being able to swipe up on stories to visit linked sites. How to use influencer marketing on Instagram to accelerate your growth. While Instagram marketing can be highly profitable, effective, and a worthwhile way to grow a brand, it can also be sometimes an extremely slow process. So what if I told you that there were growth hacks out there that you could use to quickly grow your business to gigantic heights? In this presentation, we'll be taking a look at one of the most effective growth hacks of them all, influencer marketing. So just what is influencer marketing? Essentially, this is a form of marketing that involves reaching out to an established influencer, someone who has a large audience already that trusts them. From here, you'll then be asking them to promote your brand by sharing content you have created, or by giving you a shout-out. This is normally in exchange for a fee. The reason this is so effective is that it enables you to benefit from the full advantages of Instagram marketing, all without the time and effort it normally takes to do so. People invest huge amounts of money and effort into Instagram marketing because it lets them communicate with millions of people in some cases and to gain their trust and loyalty. But with influencer marketing, you can reach the same audience via someone who has earned their trust and loyalty immediately. Some brands will pay $1,000 for every 100,000 subscribers a channel has. That means that someone with several million subscribers can earn huge amounts from each post you might not have quite that much to invest, but it should still demonstrate just how valuable those brands obviously think a big Instagram account can be. And it should explain why reaching out to an account with 5,000 subscribers and paying considerably less can be a highly worthwhile strategy. Better yet, why not consider working with influencers via ad swaps and collaborations? That way you gain the exposure for free. Reach out to another creator in your niche and offer to make a joint post or to give them a shout-out in exchange for them doing the same. In doing this, you'll both benefit from gaining access to each other's audiences, but without having to build up those numbers from scratch. Don't try and reach out to the biggest brands on the net from the start. Most of them won't respond to you. Instead, start with a channel that is a similar size to yours. As you grow from each collaboration, you can aim for a bigger and bigger account next time. How to win at Instagram without taking a single photo. Instagram, it's all about the photos, right? Well, yes and no. Sure, Instagram is populated largely by images, and this is what was originally focused on when it first came to life. But that doesn't mean that photography is the only thing to be found on the platform. Nor does it mean that you have to be an ace photographer in order to be successful. If you don't have a high-quality camera, if you aren't particularly confident in your ability to take photos, or if you just don't have the time, you can still be highly successful on Instagram. And in this presentation, you're going to find out how. One way to become successful on Instagram without taking a single photo is to use stock photography sites. Sign up to one of those, 
and you'll be able to find and use photos in any niche or category simply by searching for them. You'll be entitled to edit those images too, and even do things like add writing on top of them. So let's say you have a motivational page. All you need to do is locate photos of people climbing mountains or standing in front of sunsets and then add in some inspiring quotes using fonts that you get from the same source. It's that easy. That's one way you can create a successful account without taking a single photo, but there are others too. One is to use pictures from other users. You'll need to ask their permission first, but if you can promise free exposure, then most people will be pleased and flattered to be included. This way you can create an account that acts as the best of within a certain category or a showcase. People will clamor to be featured as your channel grows, and you'll be able to keep a consistent stream of high quality content without having to take any photos yourself. And we're still just scratching the surface. You can use photos that fall under fair use. You can use illustrations and designs. You can use 3D models, or you can use snippets of audio. All that's standing between you and a highly successful Instagram account then is your imagination. So don't be put off by Instagram just because you aren't a photographer. Think outside the box and you can still create a highly successful online brand. Likewise, think about who your brand is for. Who is your buyer persona? Get specific. If your niche is travel, then think about the kind of travel you're focused on. Is your audience interested in backpacking and experiencing countries in an authentic manner? Are they interested in beautiful scenery? Or are you selling luxurious experiences and getaways? These three focuses create entirely different brands aimed at different people. So once you've identified these factors, the logo can be born out of that. Your job is to express that through your logo and your company name so that someone who has no prior experience of your business can look at it and know right away whether you might have something to offer them. Likewise, make sure that all the images you post and all the text you write is in service of that same mission statement and focus, such that all your content and marketing material is pushing the same values and speaking to the same core audience. This is how you will go about creating a strong brand for your Instagram account and ultimately your entire digital marketing strategy. Three things you should never do when using Instagram marketing. Instagram marketing appears relatively straightforward on the face of it, being predominantly a matter of posting images and adding relevant hashtags to each one. But while this is true, it's also the case that there are some nuances that can get in the way of those who aren't overly familiar with the platform. And this is how mistakes happen. So keep listening and we'll go over three big mistakes that new Instagram marketers sometimes make. 1. Not having anything to say This is the first and biggest mistake you can make as an Instagram marketer. Not having anything to say. And by that we mean not having a clear mission statement or clear values. It's up to you what niche or industry you want to work in. It's up to you what type of photos you want to share. But what's essential is that you offer something that is unique to you. The worst Instagram accounts are the ones that are totally generic. Fitness brands that have a random selection of photos of people working out. Or travel accounts that post pictures of people hiking through the mountains one moment and people in clubs the next. You need to hone in on what makes your account unique amongst the others in your niche. How are you going to stand out? What are you going to do differently? Decide who you want to be before you start out. And then make that clear in everything you post. 2. Using too many filters Filters look great, right? Take a good-looking photo and add the right filter, and you can turn it into something really special. And if that's true, then what could be better than adding lots of filters? Filters on every single image, and plenty of edits to change the contrast, the saturation, the vignette. Unfortunately, the result is often that the images just look cheap and that you lose some of the information and quality from the image you originally took. Moreover, it can end up looking mottled and inconsistent. Looking at your page as a whole, it might look completely incongruous. 3. Being inconsistent And that's the last mistake. Thinking of each picture, but not thinking about your account as a whole. Consistency means posting regularly, and there's nothing worse than an Instagram account that hasn't had an update in weeks but it also means being consistent in what you post. That means posting only within your niche, 
and ensuring that you have a consistent style and tone across all your images, all in service of identifying your specific audience and then communicate to them directly with content they engage with.